Acupuncture is a traditional form of medicine that originated in China more than 2,000 years ago. It involves the insertion of very thin needles through the skin at specific points on the body, with the aim of balancing the flow of energy, or qi, pronounced qi, which is believed to flow through meridians in the body in traditional Chinese medicine, TCM. This practice is frequently used to alleviate pain, but it's also applied to a wide range of other health conditions. But what does contemporary science say about acupuncture? Let's delve deeper into the scientific principles behind this ancient practice. The Principle of Acupuncture From the perspective of TCM, Health is achieved when there's a balance of yin and yang in the body, and illness arises from an imbalance. The flow of qi along the body's meridians, pathways of energy, is crucial to maintaining this balance. Acupuncture is believed to stimulate points on these meridians to correct the flow of qi and restore health. However, when viewed through the lens of modern medicine, the principles of acupuncture are often explained in terms of stimulating nerves, muscles, and connective tissue, which boosts the body's natural painkillers and increases blood flow. Neurophysiological Mechanisms The principle of acupuncture from a scientific viewpoint involves various biological responses. When acupuncture needles are inserted into the skin, they stimulate nerve fibers to transmit signals to the spinal cord and brain, initiating a cascade of biochemical changes. Research suggests that acupuncture activates opioid systems. These are substances in the central nervous system that reduce pain perception. Studies have shown that acupuncture stimulates the release of endorphins, the body's natural pain-relieving chemicals, in the brain. This mechanism could explain why acupuncture is effective in managing pain. Acupuncture also influences the autonomic nervous system and the release of neurotransmitters, which facilitate the transmission of nerve impulses. It's been suggested that acupuncture may affect serotonin levels, a neurotransmitter that impacts mood, which could explain its potential effectiveness for conditions like depression. Immunomodulatory effects Emerging research indicates that acupuncture may have immunomodulatory effects. That is, it can influence the immune system. Studies have found that acupuncture can affect immune-related cells, such as T-cells, B-cells, natural killer cells, and macrophages, potentially boosting the body's resistance to diseases. However, these effects are complex and not yet fully understood, necessitating more research. Local effects and increased blood flow Acupuncture can also have local effects where the needles are inserted. It can stimulate the body's healing processes by promoting local inflammation, which attracts immune cells to the area to repair damaged tissues. Moreover, the practice is believed to increase blood flow and tissue perfusion, enhancing the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to tissue cells, facilitating healing and recovery. The placebo effect It's essential to mention the placebo effect in any discussion about the science behind acupuncture. Some skeptics of acupuncture argue that its benefits are largely due to the placebo effect, the belief that the treatment is working. This is a powerful psychological phenomenon and is a factor in all medical treatments to some extent. Some research suggests that acupuncture may work better than a placebo, 
but more rigorous studies are needed to confirm these findings. Conclusion While the mechanism of acupuncture is not entirely understood, it is clear that it involves a complex interplay of neurophysiological, immunomodulatory, and local mechanisms, alongside potential placebo effects. Despite the challenges in designing robust scientific studies due to the individualized nature of acupuncture, research continues to advance our understanding of how this ancient practice works from a modern scientific perspective. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of acupuncture, we can better integrate it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button below.